I've been staring at the edge of the water for as long as I can remember, thinking about how I'm going to find Mr. Barbecue because somebody has broken my plan. Yes, my plan has been broken and vandalized, and I can only assume it was by that Beardstone fellow. My seaplane that I skillfully stole from Mr. No-Tail in season one has been ruthlessly vandalized by that horrible Beardstone, and I am not sure now how I am going to find Mr. Barbecue. I believe he is probably a very long way away, and, well, I wanted to fly because I am lazy. So I guess I'm probably going to have to use a boat. Great. So I guess I should probably set off onto the ocean and basically leave to see if I can find him. Goodbye, I will catch up with you later once I have found Mr. Barbecue. If for some reason you're not 100% sure why I'm looking for Mr. Barbecue, it is because I want a moon rock and Mr. Barbecue has a spaceship that he got from Mr. no -Tail last season and that can take me to the moon where I can get a moon rock. So that is why. Wait a minute. What? I... I feel like I recognize this. What could it be? I'm going to go for a closer look. This looks like... Some sort of giant witch hut or something like that? What is it? This is ridiculous. I don't understand. Wait a minute. Look, look down. I can see, I can see lights down there. What could it be hiding beyond the depths? This is very unusual terrain for the bottom of the ocean. There are trees down here, under the water. Regardless, so it does look beautiful. The, I have to admit, this looks very nice. Wait, I, I recognize this. This... This is Foxy No Tail's tent! Why is everything underwater? I don't understand. And look, his house! I must go and see it. What has happened to this place? They said something went on, but I did not expect all of this. Look at all of this. It is all smashed to bits. I cannot believe what has happened here. I never thought I would see such a thing. Hey, look! I can see his windmill! Oh my goodness, this is all totally, completely broken! I don't understand. I guess at least this means I must be close to finding Mr. Barbecue. He must be around here somewhere. Hey, wait! What is that? There is a ship? Wait. Is that... Mr. Barbecue? Hi, mate. How you doing? Oh, Mr. Barbecue. I have been looking for you for so long. I'm glad I have finally found you. Okay, mate. Um, what can I do for you? You, uh, you maybe got some work for me? No, no, I have not got any work for you. I've come to ask if you've got any moon rocks left from the moon. 
Oh, um, uh, no, mate. I, I don't have any left anymore. Why not? I thought you had the shop up on the moon. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I had that shop. But I, I don't know if you noticed, mate, but the moon kind of like smashed into the ground and ruined this place. Now we've just got like water literally everywhere. Yes, I uh, I did notice there was a little bit of a, a leak somewhere. I thought maybe someone had left the tap on. Left the tap on. I, I think it'd take more than a tap to, uh, yeah, fill up this place, mate. Anyway, no, we, I, I don't have a moon rock. Uh, my, my moon shop's all gone, mate. Uh, well, you have a spaceship. Why don't you take me into space and get one? Ah, well, there's a bit of a problem. Anyway, why, why don't you, why, uh, why do you want a moon rock? Uh, well, you see, over on season two, there is this incredibly bad guy called Mr. Beardstone. He is horrible. You do not ever want to meet him. Basically, he tore down my house, ruined my aeroplane, and he has been horrible to me. So I would like a moon rock in order to help me get my revenge. Oh, I see, I see. Well, there is another option for you, you know, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, what's that, Sen? You could, um, you could live here. What, on the boat? No, 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 not on the boat. Like, here in season one. It's, uh, it's nice here, mate. It's, um, it's a, it's a bit wet. No, no, no. Once you get used to the water, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hmm, I, I'm not convinced. Well, let me see if I can convince you. Mr. Onion, listen to me. Season two, it's a mess. But life here on season one, it's better than anything you've got over there. The Beardstones are always meaner over there on season two. You dream of assassination, but that's a tough job to do. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Can you see a Beardstone here, mate? No, mate, I don't think so. This season's great. This season's great. Onion, it's better, hero, it's wetter, I'm telling you, mate. On season two, they work all day. Out on the land, they like to play. It's nice and safe here, where the moon came near. This season's great. <laughs> Come on, Onion, get down here. Down here, mate, you can be happy. No one here to break your things. Cos Beardstone is always banned here. He's not even on the white list, mate. That Beardstone might seem lucky. He's in for a worse fate. I've heard season two's corrupted. I wouldn't want to be there, mate. Whoa. This season's great. This season's great. No world corruption, no nether eruption. I'm telling you, mate. On season one, just take a punt. You can have everything you want. We got no troubles. Life is the bubbles. This season's great. This season's great. This season's great. This season's great. Since life is wet here, surely it's better naturally. naturally. Even the onion and his mates, they get the urge and start to play. We got the spirit, you gotta hear it. This season's great. Yeah, this season's great. This season's great. This season's great. When the onion is looking for fun, he comes to see me, mate. What have they got? Some netherrack. We got the ocean on the land. The natural disaster has already happened. This season's great. No nether monsters trying to wrong us. This season's great. No pesky beards, no tearing your things down. Wrecking your house, mate. Wrecking your sea plate. We got it all here under the water. This season's great. What is it with you guys and all of the singing? I don't understand. Uh, what do you mean? What is, like, literally everybody has started singing at me all of a sudden. Well, I guess including myself. Oh, don't worry about that, mate. Um, so what do you think? You gonna move here? Uh, no, absolutely not. But I would like to find out how I can get to the moon. Where is that spaceship submarine you had? Ah, um, yeah, that's, uh... It's a bit of a tricky one, mate. You see uh, see this nice ship we're standing on here? Yes, I can see the ship we are standing on here. Yeah, I kind of, like, traded it in for the submarine. You traded in a space-traveling submarine for a janky old pirate ship? 
Yes. And uh, who did you trade it in with? A uh, fella called, um, oh, what was his name? Polduck. That was it. Polduck. Polduck? Where is this Polduck? Uh, well, um, uh, he lives kind of like somewhere. I'm sure you'll find him. You must take me to Polduck so I can get him to give me a lift to the moon. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do.